What is going on guys? Awesome Nurture here back again playing Jurassic World Evolution. Continue on with our missions here on the secrets of Dr. Wu. Of course the new DLC and of course in between playing the last video of this video there was an update release that uh, made some changes to the game. Nothing really. Uh, there was the patch that didn't really change much of anything in relations to the game here that we'll be doing. Mostly challenge modes and stuff so there are challenge modes unlocked for each island now so you can do the easy medium or hard and then Jurassic modes on each island and then there were a bunch of changes to the sandbox mode that you could do and everything so nothing really that we're going to be seeing here but there were some cool things going on and so I'll come over here and in here we'll see that there is some new uh dinos so here's one of them the Carcarnodontosaurus I think is how you say it is one um, there are three new ones. That one, the Dreadnoughtus, which looks really cool. I like the look of that. And then there was the Iguanodon, which I must have had. Yeah, right there. The Iguanodon, which again looks really cool in the classic dinosaur. And I was really surprised that it wasn't in here already, um, which was surprising. But I'm going to go ahead and do a Dreadnought. Um, so I went ahead and researched these, obviously, since you're seeing them. Um, so they're already unlocked and everything. Uh, I researched them and went and already got them 100% is what I meant to say. So they are already good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and just get some of these incubating. Just because I really want to see the Dreadnoughtus because the like sauropods of course are my favorite. Um, huh, that's weird. There's no like, oh, there's solitary thing. Gotcha. So one of the three, you can decrease it down to two. I'll probably be releasing like four if they fit in and everything so it should be fine there okay let's increase of course all this stuff i get the lifespan as high as possible so that way they live forever or as long as possible here we go this is what i was looking for so probably the force down one is what i'm interested in on these i mean i probably that doesn't seem like a lot of forest in general which is kind of weird And decrease their comfort let's go with that I don't know exactly what you because I think if you go with a lower comfort that means the more it'll take to get them upset I believe is how that works I could be wrong okay so we got all that so let's go ahead and incubate one shoot I forgot to increase the success rating and hopefully that one won't fail it may but We'll just have to see. Change the skin color. So we'll do four of them. So we'll go down to the bottom here. So there's the two for now that we can do. Okay, so what we're here today, though, for mostly, is the mission. So let's go into our control room, go into our missions here. So we're doing the entertainment mission. So we have to incubate and release Corinthosaurus, Edmonton Saurus, and Struthiomimus. So we need 35, 28, and 12. Okay. So let's now, start this mission. Sorry about that, guys. I had a weird coughing fit just go on there for a second. So we need four Caritha sources with a rating of 35. So let's check this out. I may switch these up. So that'll give me 80. Hopefully that'll be... No, because I need more hatchery capacity. Oh, no. Okay, let's just... Go ahead and do one hatchery capacity. Switch it up. Surely that'll be enough. So, oh, I already forgot what it was. Caritha sources with 35 rating. Caritha source. Well, it looks like it's already at 35. Yep, 35 already. It's so weird that it's already. Yeah, we'll leave it with that color. So is that done? Yeah, four Kareeth source with a rating of 35. Um, I'll modify it a little just to get them to live longer, I guess. So it looks like it's already there. Let's get this one. And yeah, I think rating-wise, we're still good and everything. 
So get these incubated. So that should be all 35 still. I didn't think to check about the rate and change and all those. So we've got those three and then I'll do <clears throat> another set of, I'll do the next, once these are done, I'll do the next one and two Edmund Source and two Edmund Source and start on the Struthium Mimuses. But I believe it's going to be releasing all these and then we release Trodons and watch the Trodons attack them and everything. Oh, thank you, Isaac. You're such a good man. So I will get all the dinos incubated in there and um, all of these that you'll see here. I'll get those incubated. Then we'll, I assume, I believe it's Trodons next. Um, so then we'll also take a look at the Dreadnoughts because those should be done by then as well. And we'll just look at uh, different dinos, um, uh, all the new different dinos and stuff as we get done. So once I get all these released, I'll bring it back and we'll continue on with the mission. Okay, so I've released all of the dinos now. Oh, so now it says release Velops fleet the three Velociraptors into the enclosure. So they should all be in here now. So we got a whole bunch of dinos as you can see. <clears throat> so let's go with three Velociraptors. Where are they? They are. Let's go, yeah, just with a vivid pattern. I don't really change the patterns usually too much. If at all, again, I want to increase lifespan because obviously they're going to be living longer than any other dino. Let's check. So what's their base? Yeah, they don't want... I think they're kind of picky about trees. Not really sure. And I think I have a lot of trees. I'll go with like this one and see what that does to it. Okay, comfort. So increase it down to 70. And before I do this, I'll check to make sure if I had to get a certain rating or anything. Fifty-eight. Social. We could do. Two to six. I will just leave it there. Sure, we'll go with that. Okay. So they have a pretty good chance of dying. Yeah, so just as three Velociraptors. Okay. Oh, no. I guess this one doesn't really matter, though. So now we just got to wait for the Velociraptors, but I guess while we're waiting for that, we'll go ahead and take a look at the Dreadnoughtus here. So we'll go ahead and get them released. Okay. So let's take a look at it here. Spin around. Whoa, big old Dreadnought. Supposedly this is like one of the biggest, I think they're still, it's still a sauropod, biggest like sauropod um, dino that's like ever been found or something. Oh no, there it failed. But look how big it is. It's so big. It'd be cool. I want to put it like a Brachiosaurus in here to compare the sizes. But I think it's got a neck more like the Mamenchi, but instead of really thin, it's like fatter, as you can see there. So it's more like a tree trunk. <clears throat> but it's got a weird dopey looking face if we can Whoop. zoom in on it there. There's look at its big old dopey face. It looks crazy. The mighty Dreadnoughtus was one of the largest terrestrial creatures to have ever lived. Um, let's go check on our failed incubation here. Let's go and do another one and see if they continue to fail. I may have to readjust them. <clears throat> so there we've got two. Let's check this one first. So I forget what I set it as. Step. So we got step. And if this one would ever go away. Obviously, I should be able to see that one. Arid. So, step and arid are already done. So, let's ch Oh, no. That's Velociraptor. No. Dreadnoughtus. Or, yeah. Dreadnoughtus. So, step and arid. So, we'll go with jungle. And one more for our Dreadnoughtus. 
Do we want tundra or alpine? We'll go tundra. There we go. Oh, they look so cool and they have enough forest, grasslands. They actually need a lot more grasslands. I mean, they'll be fine. Oh shoot, you can only have so many socially. Uh-oh. What is their thing? Three at most. Okay, so we have one too many Dreadnoughtists, which is not good. So those two are going to be started. Just got to watch to make sure this one. Is good to go. All the dinos roaming around. Are you all happy in here? Socializing, all that sort of fun stuff. Here's something that you might find interesting. Sure, because I'm doing that already. Actually, we can probably go ahead and head in here. Yeah, we'll cancel the tundra one. Since we can't have that many. But I'll go ahead and do a Brachiosaurus since I do want to compare the sizes. Ooh, also do a Maminchi as well. Wait, Brachiosaurus starts with a B, so that should be at the top. Brachiosaurus. Should relatively be good already. Oh no, of course it's not. I love Brachiosauruses. They're like my favorite dino ever. See if we can, yeah, decrease that forest. Two oh three. Okay, so at least we had um, some of the Velociraptors. Oh, you did it. Survive. Congratulations to us both. Yes, congratulations to us both. Comfort, we want to go to good job on getting our numbers up. 40, sure, why not? Social. The security division was worth it, I think. Tom will yeah, social doesn't wrong. matter. Get out of the way. There we go. Oh, and there we got the reputation global transport team speed increase. So let's go in here to the research. That's what I've been working on, the science stuff to get. Which I think that's it for this island. So then we'll be moving on to the next, which will be in the next episode. Let's check, are they all, they are all going to survive. So hopefully by the time these two get released, that third one will be done. So here comes the chaos into the park. Run, dinos, run. You're all going to be attacked. Go, go. Velociraptors. <clears throat> by the way, I meant for, just forgot to mention, so these new dinosaur packs that released... The Dreadnoughtus and everything is the Cretaceous Dinosaur, which, um, by the way, was an unannounced, at least as far as I know, unannounced pack that was not known, so... Oh, it's already killed Struthium Mimus. Um, so it was unannounced and just released with the new update so we had the update that you know people knew about and everything and then they just threw in this cretaceous pack which is kind of crazy they have enough yes enough forest grasslands all that stuff populations get a little high but they'll be thinning that population out so it should be good okay so there's our third velociraptor now being released or so we should get our mission checked off there we go Diseases. Part of the plan. Who's got a disease? Oh no, a Draco Rex. Got two dead dinos. We got, oh, a Corythosaurus is dead. Struthiomimus is running around like crazy. Oh, there's one, two. Where's the third Velociraptor? Must be back in here somewhere. Oh no, there it is right there. What are they going to kill next? Those two are communicating. That one's still drinking. Ah, uh, poor dead Corytha. No Yay, no diseases. Those two are still talking. Now they're eating from that instead of killing all these yummy num num dinos over here. Here we go. Are you gonna attack something now? 
Oh, here we go. Oh no, it ran away unless it chased after. Well, now they're gonna socialize. Bunch of little social butterflies. Run, guys, run! Are they planning their attack? Now you go here, you go there, I'll take out the Struthios, you take out the Edmontosauruses, and I'll take out the Carithosauruses. That's their plan. Cool, cool, cool. Fighting for dominance. Who's the leader? Oh, those two are fighting. Oh, that one's now the Alpha, even though it's running away. It makes no sense. Are they going to kill anything? They're now running back in there, so they could kill something there. Come on, I want to see it kill something. Since I've missed the other two. They're just all running around. We've got three minutes to go. And now it's getting nighttime where we can barely see anything. Look at all the Struthiomimuses. Running around like chickens with their heads cut off. Okay, where is our feeder that is out? Oh no, in the Trudons, the they'll get upset. Dreadnoughtus. Ooh, they're almost done. So tall and majestic. Okay, they do have a decent hunger. Oh yeah, because they haven't put trees in. We'll need a bunch of trees, so we'll put one right here. One over here. And one right in the middle. There we go. Release the third Dreadnoughtus. Their, their faces remind me of like camels or something. I don't know how else to call it, but it reminds me of like a camel. But I did just want to mention though, I was talking about the unknown patch and stuff, the release of these Cretaceous dinosaurs and everything. Um, so again, that was an unknown patch that was, you know, not, you know, people, no one knew about it, just released it. And it was, you know, cool that they did that. Look at all the Struthiomimuses chatting it up. Seems like things have come. Oh, there they are. It's like, it seems like things have calmed down. Hey, how'd you like to be even sure, I can do that busy. easily. How's a new contract, um, but Sarah? so, you know, they did this on notes to people and just released it. And then you have uh, like another game I play on the channel, Ark Survival Evolved. So the Ark team announced the at uh, Atlas game. Forgot what it was called. For a second, announced the Atlas game was going to be coming out. It was supposed to be out this week, and then they already announced that it's been delayed till next week. So I was planning on doing videos on it and everything, and now I have to wait a week, and next week's chaos for me, so I'll have to squeeze it in somehow. But, um, so that's just, like, a difference between games where, like, this game is constantly, like, it seems like every month there's some sort of patch adding some new stuff into the game, and then, like, that they just mysteriously released a pack that no one knew about and so you know it releases three new dinosaurs for a pretty good price and everything so you know it's I just that you can tell differences between like dev teams and everything no one else has died over here but we got less than a minute for them and our brachiosaurus should be about done I wish it was sunlight though because I want to compare their heights and everything oh I guess I can go I want I'm a minchie as well Again, to compare the heights. Slimmer forest down. Sure, I like lowering their comfort because as long, the longer they stay comfortable, the better. Wow, you can lower it even more. Dang. I won't lower it anymore, though, because it takes their viability down quite a bit. There we go. What's this? Oh, yeah, the socializing. We'll go down to that one, the three. 
We're already in the negatives here. We're not doing too good. There we go. We got their transport team. Research done. So we should be pretty good. Oh, there we go. Did we complete the mission? And we did. So that was pretty underway. I swear there was something with Trodons. Grassland adaptation now available. Okay. That was unexpected and spectacular. I guess. Do really love watching our dinosaurs so I guess we'll just let the third herd thin out over here. Colossal entertainment. Yeah. Let's go see. Do our research. So we just got grassland. And yeah. Lowers the All amount of force. A dino so another lowered thing. That's what we got. And considering how some of the animals fared, I'd say a bruised ego was worth the bruised price. ego. So we of course hit the five star with hit it like a while ago. And I'm not alone, but it is hard to argue with your results. Yes. There we go, and we completed this island, which means we then unlocked Isla Takano Research Facility, which is our next and last island now. So we have a hidden facility secluded from the eyes of the Hammond Foundation, just like this island was. Dr. Rizaginia, we got to do that. And we have a lurking menace, a disease. But we're going to be staying here for now because we'll be moving on to that in the next episode where we unlock or show off the modified or hybrid dinos. Um, let's go ahead and just release the Brachiosaurus. It is starting to become daylight now. And deceive before we strike. So we can so see their height in, differences. Because your only answer if it ever yes. steps out. So you can definitely already tell, even though it's leaned over. Uh, height wise, body, um, the Brachiosaurus is fatter, but they have about the same height. Actually, Brachiosaurus is taller in the back, as you can see. But the head wise, though. Actually, they look about the same height. I thought it was supposed to be bigger. Hmm. That's interesting. I swore that the Drenatus was supposed to be taller, but they're like exact height, or because the little butt on the Brachiosaurus's head, the thing there, it's uh, actually taller. Kind of weird, but interesting at the same time. I like that. What's their... Okay, yeah. They're hungry. There's food right there. Go ahead and get another Brachiosaurus thrown in here. Oh, that's Camarasaurus. Change the color of it real quick. Rainforest as usual. Is the Brachiosaurus fine comfort wise? Yes, it is. So there's that. Now we will look at. Oh, I forgot to. Actually, this will be good. I wanted to do the Carcarnosaurus things. I forgot about that. I should have had those getting ready. Okay, Carcarnodontosaurus is which Donta is like teeth. So probably because they have a bunch of teeth. So let's modify this real quick to end. And then probably have to break while it incubates and stuff. Again, we want increased lifespan as much as possible. No, we don't need that. Oh, getting it ever so higher. Should probably increase its force. What's its base? Oh, it's pretty decent base wise. Because usually a lot of Carnos don't like. Do you have another stress? No. So we'll get it lowered down a little bit. 218, that's going to live quite a while. Then we'll do a jungle or rainforest pattern there. We'll do two. Hopefully they can live with two. I didn't pay attention to that at all. But now let's look at the iguanodon. So I went ahead and did two iguanodons here. It's already one. It's too weak to survive. Oh, look at it. Look at its big, sharp thing. So, obviously, I don't have them in with any carnivores, but with carnivores, you can, uh, it'll fight back and everything and stab them with its pointy fingers. 
the thumb bone was originally look at this size constructed skeletons no they're so huge <laughs> so of course there's a little draco rex compared to the iguana and we'll release the other one now see what color it looks like well that's not too bad The Iguanodon. I couldn't think of anyone else I'd no. rather offer this contract to than you. Hmm? Oh, it wasn't That's either one I... of those. It's not really the truth either, but <laughs> Oh, the Maminchi <laughs> failed. Maminchi, come on. Oh well, I'll worry about that uh some other time. But I didn't want to release it just so I can personally see the height difference, because apparently, as I mentioned, there was no difference between the Brachiosaurus and the Dreadnoughtus. So height wise as I thought there would be. So we got our two new Iguanodons released. There's of course our other one. So that is cool to have Iguanodons now released into the park and I'll wait for the Carcanta, Car well, Carcondontosaurus, I can't ever say the name. Uh, but I'll wait for those to be done and I'll show you those real quick here at the end. So once they're done, I will be right back. Okay, so the Cardon Carconda. I can I cannot say this name the same off. Oh, why couldn't it be from the other side? I want to see it. Not in the sunlight. So bright. I can't see it. Here we'll go in manually. We got it. There we go. Look at the thing. Look at all the spikes on its back. It's got all those teeth. Crazy looking thing. Carcarton. Carcardontosaurus. And almost as large as T Rex. At least the other one. Oh, look at that one. Oh, that's cool, that green color. That looks awesome. Now they're gonna really clean house in here. Again, population is a little high, and they do take just two, it looks like. Yep, just two. But they'll be thinning out again, the population and everything. See this interaction. Carcar Odontosaurus. Yeah, it's gonna take a little snap at you. Well, that's cool. So, there is the last of our new dinos. That I like this green one a lot. Carcar Odontosaurus. Then, of course, the Dreadnoughtus released in here. I did get the other Brachiosaurus released. Dreadnoughtosaurus. Or Dreadnoughtus, sorry, not a source. And then I got two more Iguanodons releasing over here. So we've got four now over in here. So the three new, four, yeah, three new, new offer for you to review. decline. Uh, three new dinos released in the Cretaceous Dinosaur Pack. There's, of course, our two other Iguanodons, which with the uh, rain on them look amazing. Like, look at the stripes on that one. That looks awesome. And I like the orange red color. Check out this Iguanodon. Ooh, it's a green one with stripes. I like these like tiger stripes. They look really cool. And then we got a white one. Yeah, it just looks like all white. With a little bit of like yellowish brown on it. That is cool. So that is going to be it for our episode today. And on the island of Isla Muerta East. So we'll be moving on to Isla Tucano, I believe it said. Wrong map. Isla Tucano. Yeah, Isla Tucano Research Facility. Where we will then be releasing the hybrids. Which of course is going to be cool to see the new hybrid dinos. So that's what we'll be moving on to the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. And the playthrough here on Isla Muerta East. And seeing the new Cretaceous dinosaurs. Um, I should have a Mimichi. Oh it's still cooking up in there. But yeah again disappointed with the height of the dinos. Again I thought Dreadnoughtus was huge. But the only real difference I see is the fat neck. Um. <laughs> and weird camel head or whatever but that's gonna be it for the episode today so i thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed be sure to let me know in the comments down below and leave a thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe to see all the jurassic world evolution videos i do here on the channel and the continuation of the playthrough here on the secrets of dr Wu. thank you all so much for watching i appreciate it and i'll catch you in the next episode